when Dad first started looking after this place in 1980, there were no rules uh, as far as harvest rules. You could shoot any deer you wanted to shoot. Um, every buck that was seen out here was shot. Mom would have something to do, and, and Dad was supposed to watch me, but he wanted to go hunting, so I went with him. And when I was eight years old, I killed my first deer. He'd be short sleeve, short sleeve, barefooted, and 30 degrees outside of me. <laughs> He's just Jacob being Jacob. <laughs> Well, we pretty much grew up together. So, <laughs> I think I was three months old whenever I moved to the plantation. And Jacob was maybe two or three or so. Started out with the BB guns and the shooting 22s and there wasn't a Blue Jay or a squirrel around here that didn't have a feather missing out of it or something. Uh, I hunted hard. I, I know every morning, every afternoon, every weekend, except for maybe one or two. I don't think Jacob missed a day. I think he enjoys the part of the of seeing from year to year what the bucks do. He knows every deer just about by name almost. As far as what's going to be a cull and what's going to be one that's going to be a trophy, he likes that. He likes to figure that out. He likes to see what's coming next. Around here, the season could be year round. You know, hogs during the off season, turkeys in the spring, and you've got deer. When I get down from the stand, I have to return 20 phone calls, and then I have to uh, rush to go to work to get everything done. get everything done where I can go back that afternoon and hunt as well. The reason why I go that hard is because I can't stand not being out there. If I ever miss a morning or an afternoon hunting, I feel like I might have missed something good. And that's just what I've always done.
everywhere you go, you're there for a reason. And you don't know what that reason is. You may not ever see, but on down the road, you can look back a lot of times and see what the plan was, the reason it was here. But there's a reason I'm here and, and I'm thankful I was able to cross this path. And it has been, it has just been an awesome experience. No joke, a very awesome experience. It went from, you know, fun, exciting to shooting to, you know, shoot as many as you can to hold up a little bit. Let's think about this, what we're doing for our kids, um, you know, that's going to be doing the same thing we were doing 30 years ago. And so it's just a big cycle, is what it is. And I hope they have as much fun as, you know, we do, or we did.